Alright, we just now finished the seventh dungeon, and uh, before we uh, take on the eighth dungeon, we're going to go farm for a little bit of money. Because I know we're going to end up needing more potion later, so may as well take the time right now to go ahead and farm for the money. That way, whenever the time comes, we'll already be prepared and we just got to go pick it up. I'd say the second dungeon is one of the best places to farm at. Uh, the snakes, you know, the ropes give really good money there. So we're going to head in that direction, and uh, the eighth dungeon is right by the second dungeon, so once we finish farming in the second dungeon, we'll just go straight over to the eighth dungeon. Probably going to farm up to maybe a hundred-ish rubies, and then we'll move on. Obviously, kill everything on the way there. We got two more members to the sexy party. Three. I would have laughed if I would have found two more. Yeah, the second dungeon is just uh, out this way to the east. Kill off the Octorox. Keep on moving. There's a fairy fountain up above us, but we don't need it. Die. Got nothing for it, but oh well. And keep on moving. Went the wrong way. Keep forgetting where I'm going, Nate. We need to go up this way. Or not. Or yes. Oh, oh you thought I got lost again. Anyway. Kill off these levers right quick. Levers usually give decent money. And to the right and down a couple of screens is the next dungeon. Or the second dungeon. Down two screens, left one, up one, and then we're back at the second dungeon, but y'all know that as you've already seen it. Alright. We should be able to get some pretty good money in the second dungeon. I'd hope, anyway. Like I said, I'm gonna farm up to probably about 100-ish rubies, and then we'll move on from there. And the snakes give you really good money. See how much we get in this room. We got five, ten, a clock, and a heart. Alright. Once again, not too bad. I think that was like $13 that we just got. So we're just about halfway to our goal. And. 47, 52, and another heart. See what we get in here. Didn't get very much money in this room, but oh well. Well, we got a, we got a decent amount, I guess. Seven rubies. 41 more, and then we'll head out. Or if we get at least close to 100, I'll just head out. Like if we get like 97, I'm not gonna try to walk around until the enemies respawn. I'll just leave. That clock was put to good use, wasn't it? Five rubies and six. Just go into the next room. It also has ropes in it. Sometimes I call them ropes, sometimes I call them snakes. Just whatever comes out at the moment. Head on back down. They should be respawned at the entrance now. Hopefully, anyway. Still nothing yet. Hopefully at least one more screen down and they'll be respawned. Uh, nope. What about to the left? I hope so. I don't want to be stuck here forever. Good, okay. Sweet. Twelve rubies. We need 21 more, and then we'll be able to head on out. We've gotten all the bomb upgrades that we can get as well, so we don't need money for that. Basically, the only thing that we need money for now is medicine. We don't need no enemy bait anymore either. We only actually had to have it for the seventh dungeon, which we've already taken out. Let's see what we get in here. We got 
90 now. 91. Let's take out the bottom room, then we'll probably go ahead and head out of here. I think we're close enough to 100. And, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and start making way to the 8th dungeon. Uh, the treasures of the 8th dungeon is the Book of Magic, which I'm not going to get because uh, the wand is pretty much our sword replacement now. It's stronger than the sword and it has a permanent projectile. I don't want to upgrade the projectile because sometimes I like to use the wand as a blunt instrument because it's got the same strength as the white sword. And if I try to hit an enemy with the wand itself with the Book of Magic, I'm going to catch myself on fire. Cool, we got over 100 rubies. Down one more screen and... Well, that is it for part 12.